Nothing goes away. As you get older, you realize that it just gets layered. It doesn't go away. It's fascinating. What interests me most is the art. When I would have young curatorial colleagues in Washington very upset about something, and you can't work in an institution without being upset about something some of the time, I would always just say to them, go into the storeroom and look at your favorite artist. I said, you're here because of the art. You put up with the other stuff. And um, I, I really believe that. I always have liked the idea of working on prints just to try and make people look at them more than they might otherwise look at them. And so that's where I started. All right, so this was the first uh, catalog raising day I did. It was Benton Spruance. Did it with um, Bob Looney at the Free Library in Philadelphia. There's, there's no one way, you know? It's a matter of reading as much as you can and looking as much as you can. And as far as I'm concerned, it's better to look first because then the art defines what you want to think about. I learned a long time ago that it's very useful for me to be thinking about two things that are absolutely opposite. I learned that when I was working simultaneously on Roy Lichtenstein and Helen Frankenthaler. There are no two artists whose working patterns could be as different as those two or whose work looks as different as those two. By thinking about one, it highlighted things for me and the other. And that was a very important realization for me because there are people who have said to me, you work on too many things at one time. And in fact, I don't think I, I, don't think I work well if I'm working on one thing at a time. I don't think anything I've done as an artist per se influenced anything I did as a curator, except I think it gave me a capacity for language that not all curators necessarily have. My main subject is the landscape. How I work is I draw on site and I then go into the studio. And it's never important to me that you be able to recognize the landscape that was my source, but I can't work except from a source. So I need to start in the landscape, I then go in the studio, in a sense revise what I'm looking at and revise again and can spend, I mean, I've spent periods where I would spend a month in one place and then have enough drawings to get me through a couple of years. And at a certain point when I don't know what I'm doing, I need to get back out to the landscape and draw again for a period of time. And then I can go back into the studio and work for a couple of years. To, to have a life which allows you to immerse yourself in art in my case, both making it and looking at it, um, is as rich a possibility as there is. I, I can't imagine wanting to have lived my life differently than I've lived it. And um, I feel extremely lucky to be able to say that. <laughs>